Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we're going to get Alien Isolation working in virtual reality using Vorpex. There's a few things we need to do in the files of the game first and then we'll be able to jump in. So let's swap over to the desktop and I'll show you what needs to be changed and then we'll jump in game and check it out. Okay so the first thing we're going to want to do is set a custom field of view in game because the Vorpex optimization doesn't actually do that for us. So it does with some of the games but for this one it doesn't seem to have that so we're going to do that manually. Um, to do that, find your game installation directory. For mine, it's on a secondary hard drive. But just navigate to wherever you've got it installed. Steam library, Steam apps, common, alien isolation. Open the data folder. Look for this one, engine underscore settings dot XML. Open this. Now look for field of view. So line 181 awesome directly underneath this you would like to add this line here I'll put it in the description under line 1 so add this here you can change the field of view to whatever you like by changing the numbers I've already added it save the file close the file so now we've got a custom field of view in game so now we've done that let's start up our oculus app minimize it let's start up Vorpex right click Vorpex, configure it go to local profiles type in alien isolation oh it's already there um, create a new profile based on this and again there's no game settings optimizer for alien isolation but don't worry because we've already set the field of view and we're gonna set some other game settings in game in just a moment as well so click apply and close now let's get the headset and try it out. So before we actually launch the game in virtual reality, launch it on your screen, on your monitor, and set the resolution to 1280 by 1024. Um, set your field of view to the custom field of view that you've set as well in the game options menu. Once you've done that, it's ready to launch in virtual reality. So let's give it a try. So once you're in game, if you press the middle mouse button, it'll zoom you out of the screen so you can use things like menus and the terminals that are in the game and things like that. Go into your options menu and then go into your video and just turn all your settings uh, down as much as possible unless you've got a tank of a computer. Um, but what you want to do here is if you turn all, your, all of your graphical settings down, make sure motion blur is disabled, depth of field, things like that. Um, but if you turn everything down and then gradually raise them until you feel comfortable and have a nice game to look at. So let's click play game. You can press the middle mouse button again now to go back to the full screen. I'm just going to skip through this. And that. You might actually want to stay zoomed out for this bit. It's kind of sickening. And we're in game. It's actually pretty nice as well. door locked so when you lean into to use items in the world it's kind of disorientating so I'm gonna open up my in-game Vorpex settings now you won't be able to see this unfortunately the Vorpex overlay doesn't record but I'll open it up and I'll talk through a bit about what I've got going on so press the delete key to open up your Vorpex settings and in the main settings I've got 3D reconstruction on geometry separation 3D strength is off because there's a strange problem with the shadows um, 3D field of view enhancement is all zero camera height modifier I've got mine on negative 0 0.72 image settings uh, pretty much leave all of these default uh, aspect ratio correction pixel 1.1 one, one image zoom one all these are on default and it's running fine um, head tracking settings I've got on and the sensitivity I've got on one and that's fine as well so when you're using game terminals and you access them it's gonna really make you sick so before you access them just press the middle mouse button and then access the terminal you'll be able to look at the full screen and it won't make you sick press the middle mouse button to go back to the normal view and that's it. 
Thanks for checking out this video guys, I hope it's helped you. If it did, give me a like and drop me a comment below. I always love to know what's going on with everyone and if you have any recommendations or requests, do let me know and I'll try and get a video up ASAP for you. Make sure you subscribe because I'm working my way through a huge list of games for this program. Some great stuff coming up. Peace out guys.